guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of April reading for you all. April 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. How are you all today? I am doing great. Hope you are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the cards, you all, before I start the video. Oops, almost lost them. call my name this one that one here we go See what we got. Princess of Cups. Two of Cups. The Death Card. Ace of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles in the world. You're clarifying. Six of Wands, King of Cups, and the Lovers. Nice. Nice cards. Ace of Thought. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the impl implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Isn't that nice, you all? It almost makes me feel like that you in this couple you guys might be doing something together. Ten of Emotion. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. I know you all love your family and everybody that knows you loves you, right? Just makes me feel that way. Remain positive and look for a sign. Wow. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, I can't help it. I mean, I'm going to have to tell you how I feel about this lovers, this two of cups. I just feel like king of cups up here, which is you and your energy, your sign, also the princess. I mean, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I just feel like that you guys are either in a great relationship or you're going to be in a great relationship. You guys might be getting closer with one another. You may be running in or talking on, on Facebook or messaging or um, finding each other in the month of April. So if you're single, you may be running into someone, maybe someone from your past. 
And if you're already in a relationship, I just I feel like it's going to keep keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. You guys might want to consider moving in together. You might say I love you for the first time. And that's kind of where I believe that this death card may be coming in. Maybe you guys are um, no longer single, right? So if on the flip side of this, let me let me throw this at you too, okay? If this is not a romantic relationship, which for a lot of you I think it is, it could be a good friendship, a good partnership, a good business partner, a sibling. You guys are going to come together and do something together like this idea down here that they were talking about. But for a lot of you, I believe it's a romantic partner. And you guys may have an idea or a thought or a uh, circumstance to where you can put your ideas together and make a fantastic idea. Because I have the Six of Wands saying that you're victorious. This is a victory and a success card. For some of you, it could be a uh, promotion. And especially with this Ace of Pentacles right here beside it, this is financial gain, you all financial gain so possibly you may be getting that promotion you may be getting some sort of a reward or a bonus or um, an hourly pay raise maybe it's your taxes coming in at this time some of you guys maybe get paid sick leave there's just something about these cards that makes me feel like that you guys are there's going to be a change coming in your life with this world in this death card and I feel like it's going to be a really good change. You know, sometimes when you go through cycles in your life, cycles can last for a while. They don't, I mean, sometimes they're a few months, sometimes they're a few years, sometimes they're longer than that. So sometimes when you get to the ending of a specific cycle, you're like, let me get out of that. Maybe it's being single, for instance, right? And maybe you're about to move in with someone and it's going to be the death of you being single or living on your own, possibly. Maybe it's you looking for a different jobs or a promotion or even your own business and all of a sudden it's going to be the death of you working somewhere else or not owning your business or whatever that, you know, where however that relates to you. But I do believe that there's going to be changes coming in with this uh, ending of this cycle. A death of a situation the way that you know it, which is a good thing. Don't look at this death card and think that it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, you all, because that's how uh, life experiences come in. That's how our stepping stones when we do things um, you know, when we move up in the world, <laughs> basically, it's, it's a good thing to have a death of a situation so you can move forward to a new cycle, to a new chapter, to a new way of living, a new way of, of, of possibly a new financial gain for some of you all. So when I get the death card, people tend to look at it and go, Ooh, no, oh, no, it's good. I mean, it's good. It's the death of a situation the way that you know it. So you can, um, live better basically is how I'm seeing it hold on a second some of you guys are um, may have just started dating someone and you're crazy about this person and they're crazy about you I can see you guys seriously and then this may only be for a handful considering moving in together considering taking the next step let's put it that way whatever the next step may be for you I get this princess of cups and she can mean uh, a few different things but when I get two of them here possibly messages may be coming in for some of you all and when I say messages it could be anything from emails to internet to uh, Facebook um, it could be messages in different ways telephone calls maybe and that might uh, put you in a predicament of moving higher in a, I don't even necessarily want to say a job, but it might be a job, but it might be in a higher rank, a higher position, a higher outcome. Not sure why I'm going through all of those words, but that's what I'm being told to, to say. 
So here's the thing. Something is changing. Something, a cycle is ending. And when I get the world card too, I feel like that there's going to be something exciting and something that um, good is going to come out of it. And I almost feel like that you guys need it, you deserve it, and you're waiting for it. So this is an end to this cycle. Here's the death card saying that there's going to be an ending to something specific so something better can come in. You guys might have this fantastic relationship and if you haven't, you may be getting into it. Because I have the lovers and the two of cups. I mean, for heaven's sakes, this really makes me feel like this is a romantic relationship. I have two people here, water sign and earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe your children, maybe your co-workers, maybe your energies today. I know you're a water sign, for, so for sure that's you. But this one can also stand for a birth of, of a baby, a birth of a new way of living, messages coming in creativity over here so with a combination of everything I almost feel like that there's for some of you it's the relationship for some of you it's a job it's a promotion it's a new rank or a new title or some kind of financial gain and for some of you it may be both I mean you may be looking for new homes I almost feel like with this look for a sign there's going to be something coming in for you all. And this can come in in different directions. It could come in through the message like I was talking about earlier. It could also come in when you're um, reading a book, when you're dreaming at night. You, it may come through the TV, you're watching a TV ch uh, show and all of a sudden something that somebody says something and you're like, wow, there it is. This makes me feel like that you guys are wanting something uh, new and you're going to be getting it. So if you are waiting for that special time, April might be the time for you. And especially if, if it's like these cards are saying, um, I know you guys are family oriented and things like that. I mean, the, that's a given for you all. But with this card down here that's saying that um, you have a brilliant new idea, this might be something huge for a handful of you all. Something that you're coming up with, something that you're making or you're building or you're um, making something better possibly, tweaking a little bit to get a better um, product, better ingredients. I can see things in, in my mind different ways. I can see some of you all working on a actual project. I can see some of you all um, working on an idea. I can see some of you all working create creatively in different ways. I can see some of you all taking this risk or this chance or this new title and making better place, a better living. You're very well respected. You're getting all kinds of um, encouragement. You're getting all kinds of love and respect from all of these people. I think for most of you all, you're going to have some sort of financial gain in the month of, of April almost at October, sorry. In the month of April, I think you're going to see some sort of financial gain. And whether it be a pay raise or whether it be sick leave or something that you're not expecting, possibly taxes, like I said earlier, come, could come in other ways. But there's a handful of you guys that's really going to take uh, charge of something that's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. 
I think for some of you with this relationship, you're going to be in a great relationship, but you're uh, moving on to the next steps, whatever that is for you. Some of you all are going to be talking with someone that you've known from the past, and you're going to start connecting. And some of you all are going to be getting messages coming in. There's going to be a sign. There's going to be a sign, so please pay attention to that. Especially if you're looking for uh, which way do I go, which step do I take, which idea do I go with, whatever it is for you. Maybe it's a sign for this relationship. Maybe it's a sign for this new opportunity down here. But you're going to be getting a sign somehow, some way. So pay attention, okay? Sometimes you don't know how it's going to come. It's just like that. It's there. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Ten of emotion. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. You guys have a heart of gold. You're always trying to help everybody, for heaven's sakes. It's, it's, it's wonderful to, to be like that. And in return, you get unconditional love. And you deserve it. I mean, because you you really go out of your way for other people, and I think it's great that um, that you get it back. Ace of Thought. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the impl implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. This almost makes me feel like I was saying over here, a handful of you all are really going to make a big difference somehow, some way. And it's going to be inspiring. It's, it's a really good feeling how I feel about it. But I think for a lot of you, there's a great relationship and there's financial gain coming in. All right, you all. I think this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your first half of April reading, April 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.